Hi, it's Alfred Lam giving you an update on Slack Income. Happy New Year! 2021 was great for equity investors. We saw a lot of returns in many different markets. Fixed income was not as good. Uh, we saw negative returns in fixed income markets. Canadian bonds finished the year off the low with minus 22.5%. However, keep in mind that January of this year, the bond markets have replaced because investors start to expect more aggressive central bank policies. So whatever investors made in Q4 of last year, they lost all of it in the first few days of January. We continue to have positive outlook for earnings because of inflation, because of productivity enhancements, and also because of very good shape in U.S. consumers uh, with large amount of savings and positive savings rate, so they can spend more money when they when they want to. So we expect this growing earnings trend. Uh, at least to go to 2023. Uh, after 2023, it's a little bit more difficult to predict because, first of all, it's far away, and and plus central banks are raising interest rates. So we'd like to see what kind of path they take, what the terminal interest rates potentially they reach before we set out number for longer term earnings growth. But in the meantime, we are fine. We continue to overweight equity in the portfolio. We underweight fixed income. Uh, in terms of sector allocations, we were overweight energy. We have cut back the exposure. We have put more money into the tech sector uh, in terms of uh, semiconductors exposure. So we continue to believe that beating inflation is very important. And thank you very much for listening.